What's up, world? It's your boy B Dot, and this is Shoot Your Shot. Today we have one of the most hottest, dopest trainers in the game today, Chris Brickley. Let's see what he can do. CB. What's going on, man? Chris. How Brick, boy, you got hella nicknames, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Man, man, appreciate it for coming on, man. Can you explain the Black Ops movement? Yeah, so, you know, I started a little basketball movement with uh, a few of the NBA guys. Basically, it was just about just getting, getting guys better, getting guys together, bringing them together through whether it's open run or whether it's individual workouts. And we've added different segments to it. We have strength conditioning. We have all types of stuff. So it's something I'm looking forward to continuing. Mm -hmm. That's really dope, man. Streetwear. Yeah. And fashion, what kind of role does that play in your life? So fashion's always been something I've been into. Uh, so last year I decided to start a clothing company called Colorblind. You know, I started in November 2017, you know, when all the like police brutality stuff was going on. And basically it just represents celebrating the light in everybody. And um, we've had some good success in it so far. All right, let's get into it. You ready? Let's do it. On Shoot Your Shot, there are four spots. At each spot, I'll ask a series of questions from different categories. As the guests progress through each spot, the shots get harder, the points increase, and the questions heat up. Let's get it. We're gonna go to this first spot. Let's do it. First time questions. Alrighty. Each bucket from this is worth one point. All right. So, we'll take it away. Let's do it. Get your rebound for you. All right. Okay. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. When's the first time you got your first tattoo? Can you explain that story? I can. I think I was a sophomore in high school. And I always told myself when I got my first Division I scholarship offer, I was gonna get a tattoo. That was kind of like a thing me and my dad made. So I got a scholarship offer, and then um, I told my dad, I'm like, I, I can get a tattoo now, right? And um, he said, okay. So, you know, I got a basketball on my arm. It says, against all odds. I remember I got the tattoo, I came home, my dad seen it, and then he just like walked into the, to the wall and just like stood at the wall. It was like one of the funniest things. But, you know, I ended up getting a bunch of them. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm into tattoos. Yeah. yeah. My first tattoo was a basketball. Okay. 18. Okay. Um, they actually messed up. Did they? It's uh, the Job 120s. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Okay. He put the Lord gaveth. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's so, funny. My, so my mom and she was like, you know you can go get a change. I'm like, heck no, no, it hurts so bad. Yeah. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Exactly. So Damn. let's go to shot number two. All righty. Okay, the bank is open <laughs> every day. It is. When is the first time you were actually embarrassed in a training session? So this is the first time I've ever told this story. So two summers ago, a college player at the time, came to my gym, it was like six in the morning, I was exhausted, I was showing him a move, and I did an inside out crossover, I slipped and fell, I, I did a somersault, I was like super embarrassed, the player was kind of looking at me, it was the first time we ever met each other, and he's actually a big time rookie right now for the Utah Jazz, but they, that was embarrassing. See, that's what we do on Shoot Your Shot, man, we break barriers, uh -huh. you know, your most embarrassing moments, all that, you, you bring them all, just put it all out here, man. Exactly. Hey, welcome to the UA family, man, let's get it. <laughs> Shot number three? Shot number three, right now you have two points. Here you go. Okay, you stepped into it. Oh, oh these are, oh, these are kiddies. You can't redo kidneys. that. No, ain't, uh, no redo. Uh, no redo. Okay. Um, when's the first time you were called an influencer? First time. Um, I would have to say this past summer. You know, because I was with the Knicks for five years, so I was kind of like in a box. I couldn't really do much within the organization. So once I left and I started, you know, training all these NBA guys, uh, you know, I kept hearing the word influencer, and you know, that was it was a great feeling. For yeah. Sure, it's dope. Influencer, is a, yeah, I, I get kind of confused on what people, when they ask me, like, what are you, what do you do? I say, yeah. I'm an entertainer, influencer, and yeah. they're like, can you explain it? I was like, I'd influence the world. Yeah. With laughter. Yeah, exactly, joy. you do that. I'm a fan of what you do. I appreciate it, let's get it. All right, welcome to spot number two. Yep. Would you rather? Okay. These are worth two points. All right. You currently have two points. Two points. You can do math. I can. You went to Louisville, you coached at numerous colleges, so. Yeah. This is a very important spot. It is. It's a make or break you right here. Let's do it. So, take it away. There you go. Remember, these are free. Free. I looked up your stats. I think you shot 85% in college for free throw. There you go. I just made that up, but, <laughs> <you know. laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right, would you rather train indoor mm -hmm. or an outdoor court? 
Always indoors, always indoors, you know, prevents less injuries, but that's actually a funny story. This past summer, I was in LA working with Brandon Jennings. It was like 10 o'clock at night. He's like, let's go to Compton. Let's, let's do a workout in my court. I th he actually built an Under Armour court in Compton. So, you know, we got there like at 11 o'clock at night and I worked him out. And he had his whole neighborhood surrounding the uh, court. It was, it was a really cool experience. I'll never forget that. I love right. it, man. There you go. Shot number two. All right, shot number two, here we go. I like it, there we go. There you go. Two for two. Second question, would you rather yep. get stood up by Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. okay. or publicly roasted by Cardi B? I can't get publicly roasted. Uh, I can't be in the shade room, ball or I can't do any of that. So I'll get stood up by Nicki Minaj at the end of the day. It happens, you know, um, I, I take that L over the Cardi B L. That's really? For, that's for sure. That's so for you, sure. you think the Cardi B L will show up on shade room before the Nicki Minaj? If she's publicly roasting me, it could probably be something bad that I don't want out there. So yeah, I'm staying away from that. You know how social media is, they can spin it. They can say, you know, uh, NBA trainer Chris Brickley lies and said he has a date with Nicki Minaj and said he gets stood up. You're right, that could happen too. But I'm, I'm going with the Nicki. Going with, I like it. With Nikki. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Shot number yeah, three, baby. Shot number three. That's good. I like it. Need I like that. it. You're a fashionable guy. I am. Would you rather wear a male romper, aka gromper? Okay. Or rock a mullet for a whole year? Well, hmm, that's tough. I would um I'd probably rock a mullet and I would just wear a bandana and I could cover it up somehow, some way. So I, I'd go with the mullet. I like it, you're a fashionable guy. I can see you adding some tights with the with yeah, the bumper. I thought and, about and that. I thought you know, about that. You you got you got the hoodie phase. And I do, I do. But maybe the, the hood might cover up the mullet. So you Bumper know, I, Brickley. <laughs> uh. Third spot. These were three points. Okay. Improv this. Okay. So I'm gonna let you shoot. Okay. And then we're gonna see how great your improv is. Let's do it. I'll get your repound for you. Okay, it's cool. No. Warm it up, warm it up. All right, I need you to improv this. Okay. Can you improv and impersonate one of the NBA players that you train? I can. I can do that. Gotta, say, I gotta get ready oh, first. Oh, my bad, excuse me. I gotta get ready first. Okay, it must be cold. I don't, I don't know how this, this guy sees when he does this. Right. But I'll try it but out. I think I'll try it out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pass you on the post. You need to pass? Post. Okay. Yeah, pass on need the post. It. There you go. Um, okay, no, you're not gonna pass it back? Okay, nah, that's cool. Nah, nah. Okay. Jab, jab. Hey, I'm open. No, okay, jab. Okay, with the shot. All right, I like it. I think I know exactly who that is. Will Chamberlain. No? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> No, nah, yeah, that's, that was a great. And from yeah. being the impersonator of the National Basketball Association. Man, you're the best at it. You're, you're the best at it. But the players come to me all the time talking about it. Oh, man, thank you. I really appreciate it's that. It's true, it's true. Hey, you, you, you got my approval. You need this, man. This is... Oh, that, that, now that's the, that's the seat brick I know. That is the seat brick I know. Okay, I need you to improv this. Okay. Give your best dribbling technique. Okay. While playing Simon Says with myself. Okay. All so, right. Do your thing. Okay. I like it. Okay. Simon Says, scream your name. Chris. Okay. Simon Says, step back, 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 step back. I like it. I like it. I like it. Simon Says, Simon Says, shoot it, turn around like Steph Curry, don't look at it, go in. Did it go in? Um, yeah, it went in, man. That's what I'm talking about. I was short, I fell short, I fell oh, short. Okay, I just was trying to get you, <laughs> you know, your, 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 your confidence esteem up. up. Yeah, your confidence up. Let's go into the third shot. Shot number three? Yep, you had 11. Oh. I need you to improv this. Okay. Improv your best pep talk that you will give yourself before this next shot. Best pep talk before I shoot this next shot. All right, Chris. I have New Hampshire state records for shooting threes. Um, I was a big time shooter coming out. Let's make the shot. Let's make the shot, man. I need to get my, my score up. I need let's to go, get my score up. Let's go, Chris on three. There you go. One, two, three, Chris. Chris. There you go. You need to be a motivational speaker. <laughs> so you, you ended this spot with what, 14? Yeah. 14? Yeah, 14. That, that, that is a great number going into. I need to hit some of these. This I'm gonna fourth hit some of these. And the final spot. 
This spot right here is called Explain This. Okay. These points are worth four. Four points. You're at a whopping 14 right now. 14. You need this. This can really put you over the hump. Let's this can it. skyrocket you, or you can just stay Very, PG 14. Exactly. I don't, so, don't want to do that. All right. Here you go. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Here you go. He's short. Touchdown! Yo, we need to redo. I'm not having no air ball. I can't do an air ball. Let's go, Tom Brady the Grunk. I like it. Oh, Lord it, mercy. It's, it's okay, man. I told you, the tattoos, you have to, you know, yeah, re-ink them to warm up. So, um, explain we got. this. Chloe Kardashian and her man wearing colorblind. Um, that was actually a dope day. You know, Chloe's one of my good friends. I was in LA, colorblind being my company. They posted a picture on Instagram. It was great for the brand. Once I released that, it sold out in like five minutes. Wow. Uh, shout out Chloe. Thanks. That's major. Yeah. Chloe's actually a cool person. She is. She is. She's really cool. I met her two years ago um, as I was making my transition from Atlanta to LA. Okay. Drove, stopped in Houston, brought the new year in. Yeah. Met Chloe. Yeah. She went to the bathroom, asked if I could hold her purse and watch when she went to the bathroom. That's dope. All right, let's get into the next shot. Come on, you need, come on, man. I need one. I feel good about this one. What'd I tell you? Fish sticks. Looks it's good. okay. Felt good. It's okay. I mean, it's all right. It's you know, right. You're, you're a trainer. Yeah. You know, you're a former, former athlete. Yeah. I feel it really doesn't matter. Explain this. Yeah, man, that's an old me. Young um, Brick. That was my first year out of college. Instagram was new. I was like, you know, I need a dope Instagram picture sitting on the old Miss bench, acting as if I'm a coach. You look like a, I, man, I don't, you look, you like. Uh, I look mad. Yeah, you look like somebody that, you like one of those coaches that try to do too much or. Yeah, man, at the it, time it, it, looked, it felt good. Right now it doesn't feel too good. <laughs> All right, let's get it, man. Next shot. There you go. I might, I might have to, yeah. Yeah, I might have to post this on my social media. Let's get it! Fine. That's, yeah. We needed, we, that, we needed that. We needed that. That was major. 18. 18. That was... Better than 14. Man, way better than 14. Better than 14. Um, explain this. New York Mercedes Fashion Week. I did a fashion show for Colorblind. A bunch of celebrities came out. You know, we revealed the piece. It was actually the same week. A bunch of big NBA guys were in the gym, so you know, it was flooded with NBA guys and celebrities, and that was a fun night. Yeah, you look, you look very um, rapperish right here. Yeah, you know, I got the Colorblind shirt on. Yeah, I see the Jewel Santana right there. This yeah, is, that's my guy. That's dope. Are you? Can you? Can you spit? I like, can't. You can't I, spit? No, I, I don't. No. I won't. I never will. I but like I'm it. a, I'm a big fan of hip hop music, though. Stay in your lane. No, so no Machine Gun Kelly ish. Nah, we will so see. Staying in my lane. Okay. <laughs> Stay. You said it right. Staying in my lane. I'm big on staying in your lane. All right. Man, what well, you ended with 18 points. I don't know how happy your NBA clients will be. You they, know? they might not be too happy. You know? Probably expected more from you, but yeah. you know, your job is to make them better. Exactly. You've already Good thing my job points. isn't to make shots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, man, we appreciate you for coming on Shoot Your Shot. Thank you. Appreciate you. You shot your shot and you shot 18, and I live with it. Let's see if that stands on the leaderboard. We'll see. Chris Brickley scoring 18 points, landing him in fifth place beyond Kais and Famous Los, knocking 12 and his 12 points off the leaderboard. All right, folks, that's a wrap here for Shoot Your Shot. My man C Brick had a whopping 18 points. Man, tell them where they can find you at. You can find me on Instagram at CBrickley603, Twitter CBrickley603. Brick, we out. Let's go. Where we going? It's, um, I think. The birds fly south for the summer, so let's do it. Probably just head this way. Nah, let's go. It's kind of warmer. Can't wait to see what happens next on Shoot Your Shot. Subscribe to watch more.